in Killer Clown news. No. Oh no. Submitted by McGangbang. Bang. McGangbang. Bang. That's when you get the oh, chicken shit. sandwich and a hamburger and you fuck it together, right? Yep. Or is it a? It's a Big Mac. Chicken no. McNugget. That's really a. No, no, no. It's a. It's, it's a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could Google it. Yeah. Pops up. Wow. No, that's when you get a Big Mac and you stick it in between your dick and fuck it. Yeah, that's a McGangbang. Bang. A woman was arrested in a 27-year-old cold case when authorities figured out she was the one who killed her now husband's deceased wife. So she was dressing as a clown and did it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Damn, can you imagine getting away for, with murder for 27 years and then all of a sudden it haunts you? What's crazier is your new wife is the killer of your old wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm cool with that. Damn, you she wanted him on. badly. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a dead girlfriend and you told me, hey, just to let you know, I killed that bitch, I'd be like, oh, cool. Because you you're my current one. But you also, like, like, her love replaced the old love. Yeah. Oh. But then what about if another. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, but you wouldn't be worried that she might, like, fucking flip a switch and kill you? No, because she killed her for me. How do you that's know how much, that? That's how she sees it as me. it's very romantic. Yeah, she loved Like she me. loved him so much. She killed that her. She killed. Like she had to be the one that. That it, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> it was just like everybody. <laughs> You're like, hey, remember your, that girl? You killed her. For you. Oh. <laughs> remember that girl you were dating in college and how she just disappeared? She didn't leave you. I killed her. Damn. Happy anniversary. And you're gonna get a boner from that? I wouldn't get a boner, but I'd be okay with it. I would be like, oh my god, I'm dating a killer. But what if that person's me and someone kills me? What the fuck? Well, you wouldn't be able to nag at me. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to be like, I can't believe you left me for that bitch. And I'd be like, mm. it Damn. just it just keeps coming in. It's you, what the fuck's wrong <laughs> with you? Do you She's the mother of your child. No. You but, saw that guy come out of I me, know. what the fuck? But do you get mad at the 2017 Honda Accord when it replaces the 2015 Honda Accord? Does the fucking Honda Accord let you fart in the same room as them from now on? Did it push yeah. out your kid? Did it marry your ass? Did it? I'm just kidding. This is a tag <laughs> yeah. team. Damn, you're on your own. I, Bart, I think this is the time. <laughs> I was like, this, you're this is the time when you're supposed to make her feel special. Oh, uh, I Duh. love you and you're beautiful. And no one could ever replace you. Wow, Joe, thank you. Sure, I'll help you. I'm learning. Joe's evolved so much. You've like, you're becoming a magnet. They want to feel like it's impossible to be with nobody else. Yeah, oh. you gotta mean it. You gotta mean it. I do mean, but that's why I, you're the one that came up with this evil hypothetical. I was saying if you Me? killed, yeah, if you killed my college high school girlfriend, I didn't say anything. No, if you killed my my college <laughs> high school girlfriend, I was cool with it. And then you're like, but then what if like if the tables would turn and someone came and killed me? I'm like, that wasn't even an example I brought up. You brought that one up. You're that's how evil. he hears you in his head. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, she's got fucking eyebrows like this. She has one button right here, like, what did I wait a minute? Like, fuck. I'm so used to it, I didn't even catch it. <laughs> but like, wait a minute. Like, actually, I don't like that. He starts dressing Taika in like the flannel with the one button and be like, yes, sir. That's, that's why I sent her. <laughs> what? I was taking a shit and I was like, can I dress uh, Taika as a chola for Halloween? She said yes. Oh, no, you have to do the band. Baby Cortez's and then. Baby oh, <laughs> Cortez. <laughs> No. You guys did the cholo shit oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Halloween. Yeah, that's yeah, so why I said it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can just recycle that. That's but true. But what I was saying is you flipped the script on it. Just stop in saying. My, in my romantic example, you were the killer. Anyway. And now you want to be the killee. See? Kill duh. Kill duh. Yeah. <laughs> Kill <-y. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so anyway, so this story, uh, this took place in Florida. Back in May of 1990, mm -hmm. uh, Sheila. Oh fuck, that was a long time ago. Yeah, 27, 27 years, years ago. Fuck. Yeah, Sheila, who's the killer, she dressed up as a clown, oh, drove gosh. up to her victim's home, shot her point blank in her head, uh, with her with the victim's 22-year-old son witnessing all this, and then oh, family damn, members witnessing us. it all. 
Because uh, what a psychopathic fucking Heine. Yeah. What so, the fuck? She didn't marry the widower until 12 years later, so it's oh. still not clear oh. if the husband even knew about it or if she even knew the husband. Or like, it's a coincidence. We don't know her motive as of yet. But what did the husband like during their date talk about? Like, so my wife died, and this lady in a clown outfit came and shot her, and she's like, oh, really? That'd be crazy. Yeah. And then she, yeah, like, she's gotta know. That's true. She's been with them for 27 years. Like, she's gotta. No, yeah, so for sure she must know that. But what I'm saying is, like, it's not clear if the new wife and the widower even knew each other at that time because they got married 12 years later. So we don't know. Mm. It's not It's not really clear. So then as of now, they're saying that the detectives haven't said whether or not Michael, the widower, was involved in the in the murder. Mm. So it's just like we don't know. Like I don't even know how they ended up meeting or marrying each other after his wife died. That would be crazy if they didn't know each other and then it just so happens that they were at the roller rink and then they, they met up somehow and fell for each other. And then later he found out or no she found out but she kept it to herself. Yeah, because I'm thinking there is a possibility where it's like... It's a small town and yeah. everyone, yeah. And then she just hated the wife for whatever reason. Because she always she baked the best yeah. shit and got all the attention or whatever. Who knows. But yeah, she killed Marlene. And uh, and so it was a mystery. It was a cold case for the longest time until back in 2014, the detectives they opened this... They reopened the case and... They conducted a new DNA Why do they, analysis. Why do they real? Oh, because of DNA technology? Yeah, oh. so the DNA technology advanced, and so they were able to run a new analysis, and they discovered that Sheila was linked to the murder. They're Damn. doing that a lot these days. Yeah. yeah. Can't trust no females. No, you can't trust clowns. That's this is Sheila. Oh, she looks, this was Marlene. She looks like a clown. Sheila. Marlene died? Looks like a Marlene clown. Marlene died. Yeah, she got a big nose, like a clown. Dang, she doesn't even look like a killer. I know. Yeah, she, she looks, like she looks so sweet. She looks nice. And I was wondering too, like, didn't yeah, this woman be. have like a more recent photo, like in 1990? That just looked like her when she was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, like usually when when there's a killer and you show us a picture, I can tell by the face. Mm. Eyebrows all fucked up. Her eyebrows are okay. Forehead, yeah. yeah, forehead high or like, but in this case, I don't see the killer. She looks like a kindergarten teacher. Yep. There might she be some does. darkness in the eyes though. <laughs> Yeah. It is pretty dark. I really want to know her motive, like no. whether she was like out just towards the victim or like yeah, she was madly in love with her husband but just could never say it and just try to get her out of the way. Did she ever explain herself now, now that she's caught? Like, this is the reason why I killed yeah. her. Not to my knowledge. Ooh, I hate these unfinished fucking stories. Mm. They drive me crazy. That's a fucked up way to go though. Shot in the head? By a clown! Oh. Well, it would so be better if it's a different outfit? Like a, just, like, just... By a scarecrow. A, oh, that's fine. Shoot make me. him a burglar or something, like, a ninja, maybe? Why a clown, you know? Like, clowns already have a bad rep, so, like, let's just back off of the clowns. Do so you think yeah. she's clown shaming a little bit? A little bit. You're just, you're just sympathizing for the clown organization, because they already got a bad rap. Exactly. And you don't want them to have more bad PR, mm -hmm. and... And then it is all of, like the the talk of the town. Yeah, they there's say. too much discrimination going on right now with clown, like all this clown mongering, like clown fear mongering, and like yeah. everyone's gonna just start like hating clowns for no reason. They they can't get jobs, you know. They won't be able to vote. All this stuff. Oh, maybe not that part, but after finding out, what did the husband say? I Anything? Don't know. Damn it. Yeah, maybe she put a lot. But of they were living into together that. in Tennessee. So they had to extradite her to Florida. Oh, it happened in the Florida? That's weird. It's totally different states. But maybe, I was saying, maybe she put a lot of thought into what she was gonna be. Cause you know, in the 90s, clowns were very popular. I know my mom showed up yeah. to pick me up from school dressed as a clown and I freaked what the out. Fuck, does she hate you? No. <laughs> she was a preschool teacher, so she was. Your mom? Yeah. She was trying to like dress up and entertain the scary? kids. Oh, for the kids. For kids. Oh, for kids. Oh, yeah. You. I remember that in elementary school and like Halloween, there was always a teacher that did some, you know, hardcore clown stuff. I remember I was so embarrassed when she picked me up. I was like, oh my god, mom, how could you do this to me? I think I was like in fourth grade or something, where it's like, you know, really You're important too old. to be cool. Yeah. And she was like, oh, Mika, and she's just being really sweet. And then all my friends the next day were like, oh, who was that? Who picked you up in a clown costume? That was so cool. And I was like, really? Oh, that was my mom. And then like, it 
it flipped. <laughs> but I was just like, freaking kids, you know. I think but. from third to fifth grade, everything that my parents did was so embarrassing. Yeah. Just having them stand next to me was embarrassing. Yeah. That's fucked up. I remember That's that true. from kindergarten. They're not even time. doing anything. They're breathing and I'm just like, fuck, I fucking hate your presence, man. Like, I feel like people are gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I know yeah. what you mean. Kids are fucked up. Because then I saw that in Isaac. And he'd be like, mom, like his first day of school in fourth grade. He's like, no, mom. And I'm like, no, you're starting that phase. Was that like, different from third grade? Yeah, still like around dude, you. Yeah. you should be like, shut up, you little shit. I'm fucking cooler than all these fucking fat bitches. You don't even know it. Damn. That's yeah. true. Fourth, yeah, fourth grade is like when you really start caring about. You want to be more junior high or yeah. adult wise. It's like all the cool kids were the kids that were neglected. That's true. It's like, oh, I wish my parents didn't fucking care about me. That's <laughs> so true. Yeah. I wish my parents didn't come to PTA and shit. Fuck, dude. I want to be that fucking rebel. Did your mom make you lunch? Fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have lunch. Had to buy lunch. Yeah. That was the coolest so shit. Cool. Your, parents, your parents didn't pick you up again, man. You had to fucking walk home. You're so fucking cool, dude. Fuck. But you wanted them to pick you up in a ghetto car, not the nice cars. Really? No, my dad picked me up in a ghetto car. He had a pickup truck. I want a yeah, fucking I, nice car. I wanted a normal car. Yeah, I wanted a normal yeah. car. No, every time I you see- I had to walk home. I just wanted a car. I'm like, can I just- <laughs> Dad, can you buy a fucking Camry and be fucking normal? Yeah. He always had a pickup truck. And I'm like, just pick me up. Why did your that. dad have a pickup truck? He always liked trucks. Oh, like you. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Full <laughs> 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 circle. No, yeah. But he always liked- He always had a, a truck that was manual. Oh, because my dad always had it and I hated it. But that's because that's just his line of work. No, I didn't even need one. <laughs> He's a dealer at a casino, but he always had a truck. Oh, Dude, I, I hella ditched my grandma when she came to pick me up. Cause like, well, I lived two blocks away, and I think that day she was just taking a walk and you know decided to just she wanted to see me. But as soon as I saw her, I freaking hid and I just booked it the other way and I ran back home. Aww, yeah, I didn't want to walk home her. with her. But yeah. she's like, little job. Yeah, she she didn't see me. She was like, where were you? I thought you know I was waiting for you and all the kids were out. Oh, like, it breaks my heart. I saw you, me. bitch, but I wasn't <laughs> trying to stand next to you. <laughs> I saw you, bitch. I picture her all like. <laughs> she's all. Yeah, I know baby. now. I feel bad because I mean, you know, like if she were here today, I would be like. Yeah, grandma's here. They will talk about school and shit. But like fourth grade, fifth grade though, <laughs> it's like. Uh, no, <laughs> no one cares about me. You know, you want to run away from that. I don't know why. Kids are dumb. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching that last episode. Did you love it? Yes, you did. So don't forget to subscribe if it's the first time you're here. We upload every single day, so don't miss an upload. Now, to watch more episodes, check them out up here.